So the little clock itself is the smallest phase one nib. Um, and not only that, it's a full grand sonnery. So that he's packed into the small space here um, a very interesting, important, striking method. And it's so packed in that on the sides, the bell clappers are coming outside the side of the case. So we have to have these extensions on the side of the case to allow the bell clapper to come out. So it's quite an interesting little clock. The carrying handle must have been one of the simplest handles that uh, ever graced a nib clock. Um, it's just quiet simplicity and does its job. So the dial is beautifully engraved with the Tudor rose in the middle, uh, but it's very small in comparison with a normal phase one nib. Joseph Nib is known for the beauty of his hands. And look at this for a beautiful hour hand. The swirls, uh, it's just beautiful. And here's the signature on the bottom of the dial. Joseph Nib, Londini, fake it. Of course, there are no J's in a Roman alphabet, so J is replaced by I. The fret to let the sound out at the top and the slot with the bells just behind to let out the full grand sonnery sound.